this is Taja and on this channel we talk about all things class and excellence. Today we're going to be talking about how to handle married people in your DMs, your messages, your inbox trying to hit on you, okay? Because responding to those situations with class actually matters. Okay, so believe it or not, this has happened to me more times than I would like to admit. But the one thing I remember is that responding to these situations with a level of class and maturity really has one, diffused the situation and two, hopefully encourage this individual to not keep doing that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some tips. Tip number one, listen, I need you to remember this. Do not post this information or screenshots of them messaging you all over social media. Not only is it tacky, I know you wanna air them out, I know you do, but don't do it. It's tacky, their spouse may not even know and you're revealing all of this all over your social media. It's embarrassing to the person who is getting cheated on. And the third thing is it brings unnecessary, unwanted drama to you. You're gonna have people all in your comments like, what happened, oh my goodness, tell me who was it? You know, you don't wanna have that all over your page. The classy thing to do is to assess that it's in there and not post it everywhere. Trust me on this one. I know it's tempting to post about it. All right, tip number two. This may sound like what, Taja, but you have to remember your worth, okay? For my ladies and my guys, you may have somebody super popular or someone with money or cars or flashy things all over their page. You have to remember who you are. Like, <laughs> the thing about it, a lot of times we think like, oh, I would never respond to someone who's married. But unfortunately, a lot of people do and I'm telling you now the classy thing to do is to not fall into that so you got to remember your worth you have to remember you're not dealing with someone who already has a wife and kids at home or a husband and kids at home you don't want to get involved in that type of a situation so remember who you are remember that you deserve the best remember you deserve someone who is not already in a relationship actually married legally so guys remember you are worth it you're someone who is operating in class and deserves the best. All right, tip number three. <laughs> I'm laughing because unfortunately this happens, but do not curse them out or threaten them. Please do not go in there back responding to them, cursing them out, threatening them, you know, telling them that you're gonna tell the whole town and community about what's happening. You want to maintain a level of composure, okay? So I'm not saying to not say anything or not reprimand them in a sense, but you don't wanna curse them out. You don't wanna get, you know, super aggressive with them. It's just not a good look. Like there's no reason to go that far into it. Tell them this is inappropriate. Don't contact me again and leave it at that. But cussing them out and doing all of that extra stuff, it lacks sophistication, okay? Tip number four, simple, plain, you know I'm all about the easy, clean cuts, block them. Like there's nothing else to it. You're aware that they're married, they're aware that they're married don't even have a conversation just simply block them okay I've done this before and I think the reality is unfortunately people who are cheating they already know they're cheating so there's no discussion to be had <laughs> I'm not about to sit and try to reprimand you and tell you what to do just block it and don't look back and the other benefit to this is they don't have the temptation of seeing you anymore you don't have the temptation of seeing them if you wanted to message them. But blocking them is a very simple solution to a married person hitting on you. Now, for my ladies, I have created a video especially for you for situations like this. If you want to respectfully, nicely reject a man, I have included the link to that video in the description below. So click on that if you want to flawlessly execute rejecting a man nicely. All right, hopefully you don't have to deal with too many of these situations, but if it you do now you know how to respond and handle it with some level of class don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel for all new content always remember i'm taja we not only do things but we do them very well i will see you guys next time